His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the Bahrain-U.S. strategic partnership, noting the Kingdom's commitment to furthering bilateral cooperation and coordination in line with MOUs and agreements between the two countries. His Royal Highness underscored the significance of the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement, which forms a cornerstone for wider multi-sectoral development. The latest regional and international developments were reviewed, including developments in Gaza, in which His Royal Highness emphasized the Kingdom's firm stance towards the Palestinian cause and its unwavering commitment to reaching a peaceful, lasting and fair solution in support of Palestinians' legitimate right to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Royal Highness underscored the importance of protecting civilian lives, de-escalation and releasing hostages and detainees, and guaranteeing the delivery of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip in accordance with international humanitarian laws. His Royal Highness reiterated the importance of security and stability as an essential foundation for development that benefits all. He also recognized the U.S. importance prominent role in upholding international peace, protecting the securing international maritime navigation, and promoting the free flow of international trade. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 7 of 2024, transferring a director to the Northern Governorate based on a proposal by the Minister of Interior. Amal Isa Dawood Wachandal, Director of Information Systems and Ministry of Interior's Customs Affairs, shall be transferred to be Director of the Information and Follow-up Directorate in the Northern Governorate at the Ministry. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 8 of 2024, transferring a director to Customs Affairs in the Ministry of Interior, based on a proposal of the Minister of Interior. Dalal Nasr Shabib bin Naimi, Director of Information and Follow-up Directorate in the Northern Governorate of the Ministry of Interior, shall be transferred to Customs Affairs within the Ministry of Interior as Director of Information Systems Directorate. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 9 of 2024 appointing directors in the Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, based on a proposal by the Minister of Interior. The following shall be appointed to the IGA. Snan Ali Ahmed Nasser Mohsen as Director of the Population and Demographic Statistics Directorate and Seema Ahmed Mohammed Al Mahmoud as Director of the Change Management and Business Process Reengineering Directorate. The National Guard Commander, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, yesterday held a meeting with Pakistan's Chief of Army Staff, General Asim Manir, at the General Headquarters of the Pakistani Army in Rawalpindi. His Highness was on an official visit to Pakistan to participate in the Pakistan Day celebrations on March 23rd. General Asim Manir welcomed His Highness, expressing thanks for accepting this invitation to participate in Pakistan's Day. His Highness affirmed the advanced level of relations reached between the National Guard and the Pakistani Army regarding cooperation and exchange of expertise. He stressed keenness to continue bolstering bilateral relations to serve the interests of the two countries. The two sides discussed ways to enhance military cooperation and coordination in all fields. They also reviewed regional and global issues of mutual interest. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. The council approved a draft law regarding the Labor Market Regulatory Authority. The council also approved a proposal on the labor law for the private sector, which aims to increase the trial period for employment contracts for domestic workers from three to six months. The Interior Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Information and Communications Technology, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired the committee's meeting in the presence of its members. The Interior Minister hailed the Royal Directors of His Majesty the King on digital transformation and expanding e-services to ensure digital sustainability and cyber security. He also praised the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister who contributed to the high-level achievements in this regard. After endorsing the last meeting's minutes and following up on decisions, the committee reviewed the agenda's topics. It reviewed initiatives and outcomes of the General Assembly meeting of the Digital Cooperation Organization. It discussed the latest progress in implementing the Cabinet decision to develop 500 government services as part of the Government Service Development Initiative. The committee also reviewed the latest phases of the Digital Economy Strategy and the Digital Transformation Plan for Government Services 2020-2024, in which the meeting agreed to develop 100 government services and the service of issuing birth certificates electronically. The meeting approved the identity card services outside Bahrain, including renewing and replacing lost ID cards.
The meeting announced the implementation of a proposal for digital accreditation of government documents. According to Digital Transformation Accomplishments, there are over 680 government e-services in various channels, and the use of digital transactions reached 89% in 2023. In the same context, the government e-portal attracted around 19 million visits, and 66 integrated services, 16 e-systems, and 4 smart apps were launched. The committee discussed the operations and governance sector, in which the capacity increased to 20 million while the Gulf linkage was completed through the Zajal network. Cloud service backups were activated and government employees were trained on artificial intelligence tools and the finalization of the Botanical Atlas project. The committee was briefed on the latest developments regarding the graduation of the first batch of the Technological Cadres program and the recruitment in the public and private sectors. At the end of the meeting, the Interior Minister thanked the committee members for their dedication to coordinating and development of government services for citizens and residents. Under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, crowned the Gulf University team winner of the university's basketball league following its victory against the American University of Bahrain 1974 during the final match held yesterday in Umm Al Hassam Sports Hall. The match was attended by the Under Secretary of Cabinet Affairs and Deputy President of BOC, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the CEO of GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Asker, the President of Bahrain Schools and College Athletic Association, Sheikh Dr. Sagar bin Salman Al Khalifa, and university officials. His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed hailed the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid of the finals, affirming that it reflects his support to the all sports events. He commended the organizational and technical level of the university's basketball league, which will contribute to the development of Bahraini sports and the discovery of Bahraini youth talents. His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed crowned the winners. Places of worship in Bahrain received considerable attention from His Majesty the King with the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. During the past two years, the government developed a plan to build and rehabilitate mosques in all governorates in the kingdom. As the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf implemented a package of these projects in three batches in coordination with the Sunni and Jafari Waqf directorates and relevant authorities, which resulted in the completion of the opening, restoration and development of 50 mosques. The Institute of Judicial and Legal Studies organized an introductory meeting regarding the CARE initiative or RAAYA for representatives of civil society organizations and those licensed to collect the zakat funds and to review the role of the fund in the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf in this initiative. During the meeting, the director of the Zakat Fund Directorate at the Ministry of Justice indicated that the Zakat and Charity Fund, in coordination with the public prosecution, developed a special project to support the cases monitored through the CARE initiative so that the fund would undertake the study cases in accordance with the standards and requirements. Bahraini farmers have begun working continuously and diligently to increase the local production of fresh vegetables. Bahraini farms are no longer limited to growing leafy crops, but have transformed into comprehensive farms that raise cows to produce milk and provide meat. Fresh cow's milk is provided to certain entities working in the manufacture of fresh dairy to provide these products in the local market.